special giveaway. So wait till the end of the video and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Oh wow. That's it's like a little Aladdin's cave of saddles. It is, yeah. <laughs> This is me and today I have a very exciting announcement that I am now a sponsored rider for Voltaire Design. I'm so excited about this because obviously um, one of the most important things when having a saddle is making sure that it's really comfy and it fits the horse perfectly. So Casper is actually going to be getting a new saddle today or he's going to have a new saddle fitted for him. So that would be good fun. And one of the things I always like to do when I work with brands is I like to give something back to you guys. So I'm actually going to be holding a really special giveaway. So wait till the end of the video and I'll talk a little bit more about that. So anyway, this guy is getting a little bit restless. He wants the attention because we're just going back from the field, taking him away from the grass and he's a little bit on the muddy and the dirty side. So we can't fit a saddle to a dirty pony. So it's time to give this guy a big groom. <laughs> As you can see, Casper is so muddy all here on his neck, especially on his face as well. But the other day I actually clipped him, so excuse that his um, fresh trim is slightly on the fresh side. It's a little bit, it's not the neatest, it will soften up over time. But since I've given him a full clip, he is so much easier to um, clean and groom and get all the mud off because um, his coat's a lot shorter. So. Back to scrubbing. <laughs> Gosh, so he's very broad, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bit of a chunky one. He's quite super wide. Yeah. <laughs> lovely big shoulder, lovely bulge area, and again, he's just very wide through his wither. Yeah. Um, wide through his spine. Okay, guys, so I'm now here with Jess from Voltaire Design. So, Jess, what are we going to be getting up to today? So, we're going to have a sit in some saddles. We're going to find a saddle that's bespoke for you, that works yeah. for you, um, as well as for him. All of our saddles are bespoke for both of you, horse and rider. Uh, and if it's okay with you, I'm going to go and grab some demos and yeah. we'll have a sit uh, and get, get the fit. We've got a full range full range of demos so we can try everything and make sure we get it perfect. Oh, um, wow. Casper. It's like a little Aladdin's cave of saddles. It is, <laughs> yes, exactly. So, this is what we're going to have a little look at for you. Uh, so, this is our monoflap. This is our Lexington, uh, which is our very popular little saddle oh my goodness it's beautiful as you can see um this is just a plain universal panel so it's something mm -hmm. that we just use to get the fit for him yeah and the fit for you uh if we need to we can shim it up using the shims just to mimic the Brilliant. fit that we do in his bespoke panel yeah uh, so if you're happy for me to do that we'll yeah, uh, that'd be great. do that Stand, boys. Um, <laughs> do you know much about the saddle says me do you want me to talk you yeah a little bit? Be brilliant brilliant okay so For you and for horse, they're completely bespoke. So the yep. idea is length for the seat, length for the flap, how forward cut you like it. In other words, how tall you are from your hip to your knee is cool. all bespoke for you as a rider. Uh, underneath for your horse, we're all on oh, a wow. super wide tree wide gullet. Yep. That allows complete freedom of the horse's spine. All the nerves that run down either side, we don't want them interrupted at any point. Yep. 
All the adjustment then comes from these panels here. Mm -hmm. These are three layers of foam. Bottom layer is a soft layer for your horse's comfort. Yeah. The other two are slightly denser foam, which basically means we can create a shape across his back. Oh, wow. We're just in four areas. So right down here over the horse's shoulder, mm -hmm. here over your horse's wither, yeah. here under your seat bone and at the back of the saddle. That means, as I said, we get it anatomically perfect. Oh. Best thing about these saddles for me, if he changes shape, which as yes. we know he might do, he's on a yeah. diet. <laughs> he's in, he's in uh, fitness camp at the moment. This is it. Um, <laughs> and as do many horses. Yes. Uh, we've got two screws here and a screw here. We take the panel off and we replace it. The idea is you've got a saddle for life. You never yeah. need to buy another saddle. Other great things about the saddle we have. So, short tree points. Yep. Most traditional saddles, your tree's coming down to about here. So it yep. naturally restricts your horse's shoulder and your shoulder oh, movement. Okay. With us, we're much shorter. That means your horse's shoulder is oh, always free. Oh my goodness, free. that's so cool. <laughs> Another thing is we're super light. We're about 20% lighter than other brands. Have a feel. That is so light. Uh, and the way we're doing that is by using still a traditional wooden tree, but mm -hmm. it's nine layers of birch wood. That means it's much lighter. It's still got a natural flex that you want yeah. the wood to have uh, and it absorbs some shock. So best rider in the world, you're always going to come down, transmit shock for your horse's back. Yeah. With us, we're still using wood as it absorbs that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use carbon fibre. The problems you have with that is it actually helps to transmit shock. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, happy for me to put the saddle yeah. on? Fab. So, what we're looking at when we first put the saddle on is a few little things. Um, just gonna get the saddle up so we can yeah. get a genuine view of how it looks on his back. Good boy. So, let's come back a little bit, Casper. So what you want to see is that you've got a nice clearance over your wither. Yeah. Uh, your tree points here are nice and loose. Mm. Everything below there is nice and soft leather. It's not yeah. going to impact his shoulder in any way. We also want to see that it's touching his back all the way along. So you've got no bridging and no gapping, oh, okay. which it is. Again, you've got nice contact all the way through. Mm -hmm. We also want to see that it's sitting in balance. Uh, we don't want you to feel tip forward, tip yeah. back when you're riding. Um, Cool, so this is a pretty good start. Might need a little bit of adjustment, obviously, yeah. to be bespoke for him. But if you're happy to have a sit, we'll have a ride in that. Yeah, that'll be brilliant. Perfect. Well, come on, Casper. Good boy. <laughs> there we go. How's he feeling? Yeah, no, he's feeling good. Good. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin, cause it melts away for it sinks in. And you dream about this very night, when the moon runs down the summer sky. Could it be the morning of the spring? Ooh. Good boy! He's feeling so good. Fantastic. Is he feeling really free? He's yes. using himself. Yeah, because sometimes he chips in a bit, but today he just, yeah, as you said, feels so much freer. Great, yeah. In his shoulders and really feels like... He can take a long one and yeah. use himself. Yeah, absolutely. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. It's really good. That's always a feedback that we get is that the horses feel free and that they feel like they can really use themselves. And... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's really incredible. <laughs> and especially with a horse like him who's super wide, you yes. know, the the thing you find very often is that they are, their shoulders are restricted. Yeah. So, how are you feeling in the saddle? I'm feeling really good, thank you. As well as it being really comfy, I feel really confident riding him in it as well because I feel really stable and balanced, especially today where he's a little bit more lucky. We've had a lot of wind and things. Yeah. It's the end of sort of um, Storm Kira, so he's a little bit more fresh today and sort of looking around, but I feel really confident riding him in it just because I do feel so secure in the saddle. Good, and great. you feel like you've got support from your block. Yes. The one thing I would do is where you're really tall from your hip to your yes. knees, <laughs> I just want to make this a fraction more forward cut. Oh, that's so we're just going to bring it here so yeah. your knee is always incorporated and it's never going to come over and protrude that block yeah. uh, again you know a third of your leg touching leather is perfect the rest is free to touch him mm -hmm. 17 inch seat i think that's perfect yeah. again you know it's nice on his back but it's also great for you 
uh yeah fab thank you so much again jess for coming i honestly feel like riding him he felt so different but in a good way he felt like it was a lot more freer when jumping he just felt incredible good good that's what it's all about you have to love your voltaire design saddle (laughs) (laughs) so do you ride yeah so i have a couple of connies uh very similar to him actually uh just a little bit finer (laughs) yeah he is Uh, quite a chunky one (laughs) yeah no i used to do uh quite a bit of eventing but now not so much um but yeah so i used to work for a for an Olympic rider, um, oh, wow. had a great time with her, and then decided I wanted to stay in the industry really, oh, um, nice. and do something a little bit different, but still with horses. Yeah. Um, so then I met Voltaire Design, and I did quite an extensive training program across Europe, Germany, oh, wow. yeah, <laughs> and the UK, um, and then here I am today, really fitting saddles. But oh, yeah, brilliant. I love it. It's great. <laughs> And then once we've got all of the measurements ready to order in the Lexington jumping saddle, it was then time to try the Adelaide dressage saddle. So we put on Casper, had a little look at how it fitted him, and then it was time to take it for a spin. And I'm not gonna lie, I think Casper was a little bit on the grumpy side because he thought that he was finished with riding, but no, it was time to do some flat work. And oh my goodness, the saddle was so comfy. So, uh, how are you feeling in the saddle? Feels really good, thank you. I feel nice and straight and upright as well. Yep. I didn't feel like it was tipping me forward or backward or anything. I felt very central and balanced, which is great. Good, really good. So, I think seat size is perfect, yep. 17 inch. Again, I think the length of the flap is really nice. When mm-hmm. you're trotting around, again, you've got a nice amount of your leg touching leather. Yep. Rest is free to touch him. Again, uh, the block here is just a medium block, but again, it's just finishing just below your knee, which gives you maximum stability at your lower leg. Yep. And actually, when you're riding around, it seems like your, your lower leg was nice and still, yeah, which is really, really good. Good. Hey, good point. Brilliant. And again, he's got lots of freedom through yeah. here. His tree points are not tight. Um, for him, we just want to make it a fraction wider than yeah. we have with the demo. He is quite a wide Absolutely. horse. <laughs> which is why we've just popped the shim in there, just yeah. to mimic the fit for him. Uh, when we fit him, it's just going to all drop down, just be yeah. a little fraction wider. Brilliant. Good point. I'd just like to say a huge, huge thank you to Voltaire Design and to as well, Jess, very, very kindly welcome. coming over and fitting Casper's saddle. I can't wait for it to arrive. What would you recommend people doing if they wanted to get hold of you? So there's about 10 of us across the UK and Ireland, uh, sports saddle specialists. We'll happily come out uh, completely free, no obligation to buy, oh, wow. to have a trial and a fitting. Uh, I think you've got the details you can pass on to everyone. Yes, so I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check them out. So I'll see you guys when my saddle arrives. The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true I feel a million eyes but I can just see you no rain, no thunder it's just your light your voice the heaven of our kiss the wonder of our joy so breathe.
Okay, everybody, Casper and I are now back from the beach and we both had so much fun cantering across the sand, but with the sand and the salt water, it's not very great for my tack, especially with a new saddle. So um, I definitely need to give this a good old clean because that is not great for the leather. So to do this, I've actually got some little pots here. I have some leather balsam from Voltaire Design and then I also have the glycerin soap. So I'm going to use this first to wash off all of the sand and salt water and I've got a little tub of water here. So let's get tack cleaning. Before I start cleaning I'm just going to take off my stirrups and I'm also going to get rid of the saddle pad as well because I don't want that to get wet. So I don't want my sponge to be too wet because obviously water is not good for leather. Um, so I just have a little bit of the glycerin soap on here and I'm just getting rid of all of the sand and bits of salt water that was on my saddle from the beach. I swear, whenever you go to the beach, sand just gets absolutely everywhere in every single nook and cranny and like a week later you're like oh there's still some sand here from the beach so i'm gonna give it a good old clean and then now i'm just drying it off because obviously i don't want to leave the water on for too long because again water is not very good for leather so just giving it a nice little dry off Now my saddle is clean, I'm going to use some leather balsam from Voltaire Design and this actually smells so good. Mm, smells like tack cleaning. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my funky sponge, it's the shape of a fish I think, so let's get that nice and moisturised. <gasps> Look how nice and shiny it's looking. That is so satisfying. I don't like to put too much on the seat just because you don't want it to be slippery but because it is a new saddle it does need just a little bit for the leather because it is new. Just look at what a difference this stuff makes. Are you ready? Ooh, shiny. That looks so good. I'm so glad that I'm giving this a nice good clean because I actually feel kind of bad that, you know, first time I take a new saddle out for a spin is on the beach, which obviously isn't great for leather. But um, with our beach, you can only go at certain times. And today was actually the only day that we could pretty much go. If not, we'd have to wait until next time because um, our beach is like a tidal beach. So you can only go when the tides uh, outloads because if not there just isn't any sand so you can't ride on it so <laughs> felt kind of bad but it's looking a lot better <laughs> now I've given it a good clean okay so I'm probably gonna have to give this girth a bit of water to really wash off all the sand because obviously the girth is a little bit closer to the ground and when we did splash through some puddles at the beach it got a little bit on the wet and sandy side so as soon as we I got off Casper and untapped him I did give it a little bit of a dry off because it was a little bit on the wet side so I am going to put a bit more water on than I usually do just because I really want to get rid of all this sand okay so I'm going to finish off cleaning this girth and I'll get back to you when it's time for me to announce the giveaway Okay everybody, now it's time for the giveaways. So whenever I work with brands, as a thank you for supporting my channel, I always love to do a giveaway and give back to you guys. So um, this giveaway is extra special because it's something again that money cannot buy. And this isn't just any saddle pad. It's also been signed by eventing world number one, Oliver Townend. I actually saw him um, at the Liverpool Horse Show. So he signed this saddle pad for you guys. And then as well with that, we also have a little goodie bag here as well with lots of fun bits in. So I have a Voltaire Design cap that I'll also be signing as well for you guys. Um, I have a funky little keychain. I actually have a key um, one of these on my keys at the moment. I have a pair of socks, which are very comfy by the way. And last but not least, 
I have a matching ear bonnet or fly veil as well, which will look really nice and snazzy with the saddle pad as well. Um, so yeah, this little goodie bag and things, all the information, if you want to enter into the giveaway, will be over on my Instagram page at this underscore Esme. Um, so yeah, that's the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoy and enter. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching today's video. I'd like to say another huge, huge thank you to Voltaire Design for very kindly sponsoring today's video as well. I'm very excited for the future with them. So yeah, anyway, thanks guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.